welcome to my course on aspects of biochemical engineering now today uh, in the last two classes the last uh, couple of classes i discuss microbiology and biochemistry which is very essential as as per biochemical engineering is concerned we should understand that microbiology that deals with mostly the what are the different microbes what is the classification of microbes and biochemistry may major mostly deals with what are the different biomolecules present in the living systems and how we take part in different reactions now this uh, particular lecture i deals with that what are the different bioproducts that is and their market value because uh, what do you mean by bioproducts now if you look at the bioproducts are are usually produced from the living cells such as bacteria yeast and algae because different type of living cells that can produce the bioproducts not only living cells it can be produced from non living cells also like uh, enzymes or biomass it can produce i can I, you see that here that living system we call about the we talk about the bacteria yeast and algae and uh, non living cells maybe enzymes and the biomass that we have now the bioproducts we have uh, uh, production of the commercially useful product made by the use of biological microbes or renewable material so uh, bioproducts not only mean that you know that uh, uh, which is produced by the living system but uh, the uh, if we use some kind of biomaterials for the production of some uh, useful product that also we consider as a bioproducts so uh, so here i can see that i can show you that uh, uh, what are the living organisms already we discuss we have bacteria we have we have bacteria we have uh, we have uh, this bacteria then we have algae then fungi is that is largely used um, for the uh, formation of different useful products now if you look at the enzymes that you know that uh, i have i have given the example of catalase enzyme now catalase enzyme is mostly present in the aerobic organism what is the aerobic organism i told you before that organism microorganism usually take the oxygen which is dissolved in the fermentation media and this ferment when they take the oxygen it forms some kind of superoxide like hydrogen peroxide or some superoxide so they should have some enzyme which can de de degrade this uh, the superoxide molecule the catalase is one type of uh, this uh, of, uh, that uh, enzyme that can degrade the h2o2 to h2o plus o2 and this o can be used by by the organism for their metabolic purpose so this is this is how it here, here it is shown that now what are the different bioproducts that we have in the market we have different bioproducts as for example we have i told you that i mentioned that, that there are different antibiotics that is the we have in the mar market particularly uh, if you if you lo look at the history of the bioproducts that you know that first antibiotics that has been marketed in the world that is the penicillin and uh, penicillin is kind of antibiotics it is active against the gram positive bacteria then we have enzymes the enzymes we have amylase we have protease xylanase and the renin is largely used in the different in industry as for example amylase we have largely used in the in the beer making industry the amylase and protease they are largely used in the beer making industry then renin is used in the cheese making industry and uh, in the vaccine we have we have uh, we, that is used uh, for the several purpose in the into in our day to day life i can give the example of uh, polio vaccine this is uh, this is a vaccine uh, due to the invention of this vaccine the infection of polio has been removed to a great extent then hormone is largely uh, it is used in the agricultural sector for the growth of the plant as well as uh, in the animals also sometimes we use the hormone in the living in the human beings also used for some uh, rectification of some diseases we use something and then uh, single cell protein 
that is used as a source of uh, protein because the, as you know that microorganisms they grow very fast as compared to plant cell and other materials so it can be used as a very good source of protein and a kind of example we have that is the baker cyst and uh, uh, and finally i want to tell this bio the bio processes can be used for the production of different oxy chemicals and this is ethanol acetic acid butanol butyl dial and citric acid the different type of products we can produce through this process bio products can be classified in three different ways uh, one is called low value high, high volume products and the medium value and medium volume products and high value low volume products now what do you mean by that I can, I can give a typical example. Suppose I, when we talk about the citric acid industry and citric acid is produced by using Aspergillus niger from cane molasses and this is a voluminous product because and a, a huge amount of product and uh, concentration of this citric acid may be uh, uh, maybe 10, 10 per 10 to 11 percent. So you know that we, uh, we can uh, we use as a bulk production. We can, I can give the example of ethanol. Ethanol when produced in the fermentation pot, the, the concentration may vary from 10 to 14 or 15 percent and this we produce in the bulk. So this is, this is the low volume, low value and high volume products. Low value with respect to the per unit cost of the product is very low and high volume means the amount of product that is very high. That I work with Cetogia Biochemicals and where we used to produce 4 to 5 tons of citric acid per day. Now medium volume and medium, medium value and medium volume products, uh, we mean that uh, if the cost of production, I can, I can give very typical example in the coming slide, then I, th I hope it will be clear that, uh, that if you look at uh, low volume and high, low value, high volume products, we mean that uh, the cost of, if the cost of product is 6 pound, per kg of products. This is the cow within the 6 pound per kg we call it. Then the examples as I told you, this is citric acid which is nothing but the tricarboxylic acid largely used for our day to day requirement. And factors that affecting the crucial uh, low value products is the cost of raw materials, duration of the fermentation process and overall cost of the utilities. And utilities means heating, cooling and air supply. Those are the different utilities that, that depends on the cost of production. Now medium value high volume products, we have that uh, the whose cost is around 60 pound per kg. This is the, and, and uh, examples are different antibiotics. I have given the examples of penicillin which is largely used in our day to day life for the, uh, for, uh, for killing the gram positive bacteria because when we have some kind of injury, we have some kind of pus formation and this pus formation can be rectified with the help of penicillin and factors affecting this process is the duration of fermentation and utility of the uh, utility and the nutrient cost because we know as for example that in case of uh, penicillin production we required not only carbon source of, uh, like glucose uh, but also it, it uh, uh, nitrogen source as constant liquor but also it, con it requires some kind of precursor like phenyl acetic acid and phenoxy acetic acid. Now high value low value high value low volume products we have a few and cost is more than uh, this is uh, uh, 60 uh, pound per milligram of products and examples are human insulin as you know that uh, we have uh, as the as the time passes on more more and more people they are infected by by suffering from diabetes and they used to take uh, this uh, insulin and the insulin is produced by using uh, recombinant dna technology and this is very costly so this is uh, this cost is is a co it lies in between the 60 pound per milligram. It is usually produced about one kg of product per year. And another another important example is the interferon. The major emphasis for improving that this strain the stability, level of expression, and overall cost of the product. 
because since it is it is a recombinant uh, protein, so we uh, we uh, but that uh, level of expression that plays very important role. Now, if you look at the uh, general category of bioproducts, you know, we can have three different categories. One is we 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 consider the bioenergy. We have bioenergy as as we consider it can be available in both the forms, both three forms we have. One is uh, that uh, solid fuels and the liquid fuels and the gaseous fuels. Now solid fuels, we have biomass, we have uh, uh, different biomass, we can burn the biomass, we can get the energy. But uh, the, uh, the problem with the solid biomass is the transportation problem. But uh, liquid, liquid and gaseous fuel has added advantage because we can easily transport the liquid or gaseous fuel from one place to other very easily. Now, uh, the different biochemicals, if you look at, we have in the pharmaceuticals industry, we have vaccine, industrial chemicals, we have the citric acid and enzymes and biocosmetic, we have body creams. This is a lot of uh, bioproducts nowadays used as a uh, cosmetic industry so that uh, carcinogenic property of the pure chemicals can be reduced to a great extent. Now, biomaterials we have uh, we have used in the industry. We have bioplastic. I ha I can I can I can give the example of uh, that polylactic acid, which is largely used in the pharmaceutical industries. Biocompost, which has lot of uh, lot of uh, application in our agricultural sector, as you know, due to use of <coughs> the, the inorganic fertilizer, the fertility of the soil that reduces to a great extent. By using the biocompost, it is possible to retain the uh, fertile, fertile character of the soil. And fertile character of the soil depends on the water retention property of the soil because plant used to take their nutrient through the process of diffusion through their roots and biofoam and bio rubber. This is another uh, the biomaterials we have. Now, now this is how, how fermentation is carried out. This is, if you look at the, then I showed you this amnon myodor pathway, one mole of glucose produces two moles of pyrophic acid. And then uh, this pyrophic acid, what is the formula of pyrophic acid? This is CH3COCOOH. Now, when it undergo decarboxylic reaction, it forms the acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde formula is CH3CHO. And then when it is uh, this, uh, when it is further reduced, it will form CH3, CH2OH. So this is the different the, how the ethanol formation takes place. And uh, throughout the world, uh, most of the country they are producing the ethanol uh, through the biological process just to replace the gasoline because gasoline usually produced through the from the fossil fuels which has limited reserve. Now, industrial fermentation process, the four major groups that is uh, very commercially important for the fermentation exists. The production, these are, uh, these are the microbial cells or biomass. Uh, as the product, when biomass itself acts as the product, I told you the baker's is the industry. The baker's is uh, used in the, in the bread making industry, largely used. And this can be used as a single cell protein as a source of uh, protein and also probiotic. Uh, it is used because probiotic is very important nowadays. And sometimes uh, we want, because in our system, in a metabolic system, we might be aware we, 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 uh, we have some desirable organism that is required in our metabolic system so that our system then uh, can work in a proper manner. So, Nowadays, a lot of industry, they are producing probiotics, and which is largely recommended by the doctor for curing um, our uh, digestion problem. Now, uh, and there are several microbial enzymes we have, like amylase, protease, catalase, and glucose oxidase. Besides that, you know, I, I told you this is not only used in the, in the, in the food or pharmaceutical industry, this also used in the detergent sector because uh, particularly protease enzyme, in, in the, when we have some kind of stain in our uh, cloth, you know, that if we use some protease enzyme, the, the stain will go. But if we use this uh, protease enzyme, it will go. That will help for removing the strain. 
this is the, then we have different meta, uh, metabolic uh, uh, microbial metabolites that is used i told you this is ethanol ethanol then we have uh, citric acid vitamin acetone butanol glutamic acid lysine different types of biochemicals we can use uh, for our different requirement now here i want to stress one point that whatever uh, bio uh, chem uh, whatever chemicals we require in our day to day life most of the chemicals can be produced through the biological means but uh, but in practice uh, the, these are not in practice the reason is that the co the concentration of these biochemicals in the fermentation broth is so small our recovery cost is so high that we cannot compete with the with the chemical process so we do research just to improve upon the process so that concentration of these uh, chemicals increases so that recovery cost uh, can be reduced to, uh, to, uh, to to some extent so that we can compete with the chemical process so in that way uh, that you know that is that is the uh, one uh, disadvantage we have with the biochemical process that uh, uh, the, the concentration of the product if we can increase the concentration of the product then and only then we can we can reduce our recovery cost and we can compete with the chemical process now here uh, i want to show you one very in interesting thing that uh, what is the chronological development of the different bioproducts and bioprocesses we have and if you look at our uh, this is the, we are talking about the history that how different bioproducts formation takes place now if you look at the before uh, if you 6000 bc before christ that we have mostly the yeast is used to make wine and beer so that is the the start up of the bioproducts then yeast is the, then uh, 4000 bc yeast is used for making the limning breads this is then in uh, one, 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 1910 AD, then we have used this uh, process for the Swiss treatment using the microbes developed. Now here, I want to point out again that waste, uh, we have, it has been observed by the Central Pollution Control Board that uh, most of the chemical and biochemical industry, they pose some kind of environmental pollution problem to our water stream to a great extent. And, uh, and more than 70% of the, uh, this wastewater treatment processes are controlled through the biological means. Because the reason is that if you use the biological process, your microorganism can utilize the soluble organics very easily and, uh, and, and convert it to carbon dioxide and cell mass. And since the cell mass is the insoluble mass, you can easily separate it out. This is the major advantage of that. Those, that is why it is largely used in the in the in case of the wastewater treatment process then 1912 to 14 large scale production of acetone butanol and glycerol using the bacteria that take place and then 1962 that the mining of uranium with the aid of microbes that take place now here let me stress one thing that uh, the bio leaching that plays important role as per as per the industry is concerned particularly in case of the ores where the, ma the metal concentration is very low now if the ore content metal content very uh, ore content very less amount of metal our uh, that uh, recovery cost is very high so we usually it is uh, it is recommended this should uh, go through the bio leaching process so that the insoluble that material can be solubilized in the liquid form and then from the liquid form we can purify we purify the product very easily and then 1973 uh, first successful genetic uh, engineering experiment that take place and this is very important the reason is that through the genetic engineering it is possible to get the very useful products i have given the example of insulin and that is uh, that is largely used for safeguarding our that diabetes disease and not only that uh, we use uh, we, we use this for hepatitis b and other vaccine also we produce with the help of the genetic manipulation techniques then in 1980 that uh, human food uh, marketing of human food of vulgar origins that uh, that is another because we, here i want to stress one thing that uh, since we are uh, we are living in a vastly populated country uh, or you know other country also it is same applicable that you know a time will come 
our agricultural land will not be sufficient to uh, keep the food to our uh, our people in that case we shall have to find out better utility of the food and for the better utility of the food we do, we shall have to enrich our the quality of the food i can give a typical example that if you consider the um, and the vegetable protein the utilization efficiency of the vegetable protein is about 10% and if we because this is the, the, the reason is that that uh, that you know that essential amino acids present in the in the in the vegetable protein uh, but, you know, but we not proper because there's some one or two essential amino acid might be lacking i can give the example of of uh, the rice protein it uh, lacking of lysine enzyme so if we add lysine to this rice then the utilization efficiency of the rice protein will increase to a great extent so those are the things we shall have to look into so the small amount of product if a small amount of food we take that will give the better impact in our body so our food consumption will reduce to a great extent then in 1981 the use of monoclonal antibody for diagnostic uh, purpose is approved by usa 1983 approval of insulin produced i, I have already discussed then 1984 we have the interferon products and other other products that has been shown here now let me they give you the examples of a uh, list of different important uh, uh enzymes and their applications as for example that if you look at uh, protease enzyme i was talking about this is used in the food processing industry detergent industry and healthcare now uh, uh, particularly i i can tell you that uh, in the health i i already discussed about how protease is used in the detergent industry healthcare particularly in the day to day life when we take uh, food a little bit higher amount of food in our system then our system may be overburden or during the uh, during the uh, b- the examination or during uh, during the disease during the infection of a particular patient the enzyme secretion of the body is not proper then doctor recommended some kind of uh, the enzymes from outside so that it help in the digestion process and the food processing industry also it has lo- it has lot of use then lipase as you to see it is used in the dairy industry and for improving the product food products and also the food processing industry is largely used the cellulose uh, they they largely used for the bio fuel industry uh, breakdown because it has been found that uh, the lignocellulosic material might be the best raw materials for the production of biofuels because the raw material cost will be say, will be very less as compared to any other biomass so uh, so by using the cellulose 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 enzyme it is possible to degrade the use the cellulose molecule for getting this biofuels then isomerase that used for the conversion of glucose fructose glucose to fructose syrup as you know the fructose is more sweeter than glucose then xylanase is used for paper making industry then ligase and nuclease used in the molecular biology renin is used in change making industry um, for precipitation of the proteins then pectinase enzyme that food processing industry food pulping processing beta glucanase that is used in the brewing industry the trypsin is used in the pharmaceutical industry and tannins is used for the elimination of tannin so these are the different uh, industry that uh, we can we can have then other bio products uh, market value because uh, i i can give you it is now we unfortunately i don't have the all bio products market value but some major market value products is given here partly firstly i want to point out therapeutic proteins and monoclonal antibody largely market in the world market it is it is about 170 thousands million us dollar presently we have in the market antibiotics we have 26000 us dollar then then we have amino acid and organic acid we have 12000 us dollar industrial enzyme we have 5000 us dollar and vitamin we have 3000 us dollar fine chemicals and secondary metabolites we have 11000 us do- million us dollar so this is the this clearly indicates the potentiality of bio products um, in the global market 
Now, other uh, that uh, global uh, production of the different uh, specific product in the market is also given here. Now, if you look at that uh, bioethanol, that is uh, you, you now it is producing about 26,000, uh, uh, 26 lakhs actually, that uh, uh, 2060 lux that is uh, tons you know that huge amount of uh, 26 into 10 to the power 6 tons of uh, this uh, bioethanol is produced then glutamic acid is 1000 uh, thousand tons then citric acid also 1000 thousand tons the lysine is uh, 350 thousand tons lactic acid is 250 thousand tons vitamin c 80 thousand tons this is gluconic acid is 50,000 tons, antibiotics is 35,000 tons. Then um, that feed enzymes is uh, enzymes can be used uh, as you know I told you it can be used uh, for a medicinal tonic that is feed enzymes is about 20,000 tons, xanthan it is about 30,000 tons, uh, threonine is kind of amino acid this is 10,000 tons. Then uh, nicotinamide, this is 3000 tons, vitamin F, 1000 tons, as then other products is given here. So, this indicates uh, that you know that uh, mar the amount of production of these byproducts and the market value of the byproducts is significantly uh, high in the world market. The market value, some pharmaceutical products are given here. You see the erythroportin, mm, this is 6000. 803 uh, million US dollar, insulin is 4017 uh, US million US dollar, the so blood clotting factors, then blood clotting factors, so we know that uh, during some kind of uh, the, the cerebral attacks and other things the blood clotting take place, those who largely use then in the colony simulation factor, interferon, beta, interferon alpha, monocular antibody, growth hormone, monocular antibodies, that, that uh, plasminogen activated and interleukin growth factor, therapeutic vaccine and other protein. So, all these market values are given here and that uh, because main purpose of giving this value, the just to give you an overall impression that different power products has uh, occupied significantly in the world market. So, uh, in this particular presentation, I try to uh, tell you that uh, what are the different byproducts we have and byproducts mainly divided into three different ways uh, the low value high volume products, medium value medium volume products and high value low volume products. So, um, that uh, de purely depends on the uh, cost of the products. Uh, we have seen that in case of low, low value high volume products the uh, cost of the products lies uh, within the six uh, pound per kg of the products. Now, in case of medium value and medium uh, volume products, the cost of the products is within 60 uh, pound per kg of the products, but in case of uh, high value and low volume products, we have 60 uh, pound per milligram of that product. So, <coughs> now, uh, different, uh, different examples I have given as far as uh, these products are concerned. Also, I try to find, point out that what are the different market values of this particular uh, byproducts we have and uh, what is the what are the different uses of the byproducts in the in the in our day to day life and what is the amount of byproducts that has been marketed in the world market i hope this will give you the overall ideas on the byproducts thank you very much